Welcome back to Your Safe Place. Have you ever had that moment when you thought, wow, I'm finally an adult? You know, that moment when you feel like you've got everything figured out and you're totally nailing this whole adulting thing. Well, I have a confession to make. That moment never really came for me. I used to believe that adulthood would magically descend upon me, accompanied by a sudden surge of wisdom and responsibility. But as the years went by, I realized that being an adult is not about a specific moment. It's about the choices we make and the habits we cultivate along the way. So, instead of waiting for that adulting enlightenment, I decided to take matters into my own hands. I started collecting and creating habits that would improve my life and help me navigate the complexities of adulthood. And let me tell you, these habits have made all the difference. First on my list is the habit of setting goals and creating a roadmap for my future. Whether it's career aspirations, personal growth or financial milestones, having clear goals gives me a sense of direction and purpose. I break these goals down into manageable steps and track my progress along the way. It's amazing how empowering it feels to actively work towards the life I want. You're probably sitting there scratching your head and wondering, I'm doing this all day. Why haven't I achieved my goals yet? What's the missing piece of the puzzle? Well, my dear, let me tell you a little secret. It's all about using the powerful technique of setting SMART goals. It's a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound goal-setting framework to set clear and realistic goals. Breaking down your goals into smaller, actionable steps can increase motivation and enhance your chances of success. Here is an example to illustrate how you can use it in your life. So, what is specific? Instead of saying, I want to get fit, a specific goal would be, I want to run a five-kilometer race. Create a way to measure your progress and determine when you have achieved your goal. For example, you could measure your progress by tracking the number of miles you run each week. Achievable. Ensure that your goal is realistic and attainable based on your current abilities. Setting a goal that is too ambitious can lead to frustration and demotivation. Relevant. Your goal should be aligned with your broader objectives and values. Ask yourself why this goal is important to you and how it contributes to your overall well-being and growth. Time-bound. Set a specific time frame for achieving your goal. Having a deadline creates a sense of urgency and helps you stay focused. For instance, you could set a goal to run a 5-kilometer race within 6 months. Give this technique a try. It really makes a difference. The next is self-reflection. It's an essential habit that involves taking a step back from the busyness of life to gain deeper insight into yourself. It's a process of introspection and examination that allows you to understand your thoughts, emotions and behaviours on a deeper level. Reflect on both positive and negative experiences and consider what you learnt from them. Identify your strengths and weaknesses and think about how you can leverage your strengths while working on areas that need improvement. It also fosters a sense of mindfulness and presence in your daily life, which is our next step. By pausing and examining your thoughts and emotions, you become more attuned to the present moment and can better navigate challenges. It helps you cultivate a greater sense of clarity and focus, enabling you to make intentional choices and take purposeful actions. It helps you develop a clearer understanding of who you are, what you value, and what drives you. Have you ever tried practicing gratitude in your life? For example, what are some things you are grateful for today? Share them in the comments now. Gratitude is more than just saying, thank you. It's a mindset and a way of actively focusing on the good things in your life, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant they may be. When you practice gratitude, you shift your attention away from negative thoughts and experiences and redirect it towards the positive aspects that exist all around you. 
Research in the field of positive psychology has shown that cultivating gratitude has a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being. People who regularly practice gratitude experience higher levels of positive emotions and they also report lower levels of stress and anxiety. And here's the final one, which you might not have realized is actually crucial. We've all been there, tossing and turning, counting sheep and desperately longing for that sweet slumber. But did you know that improving your sleep habits is not just about waking up refreshed and energized? Why is it so important for adulting? First off, sleep is not just a luxury or a lazy indulgence. It's a fundamental necessity for our bodies and minds. Science has shown that quality sleep plays a vital role in cognitive function, memory consolidation, and emotional regulation. It's like giving your brain a well-deserved spa day, allowing it to recharge, process information, and make better decisions. Now, I'm curious to hear from you. What are your biggest struggles when it comes to adulting? Have you tried any of these self-improvement tips before? Let's share our experiences and conquer the realm of personal growth together. Until then, here is a video for you. Is it okay to live with your parents in your 30s? Let's figure it out.